Hello everyone, this is Gaming Mario speaking and welcome to yet another AFK journey video. So yesterday I released the Necro Drake Dream Realm guide and uh, it was pretty well received so we get a lot of uh, nice words, thank you very much and we, uh, we got some like uh, areas of improvements, not so nice words as well as a bunch of people that are smoky -less. So <laughs> okay guys, um, I just like to I just like to mention this okay. Like, uh, free-to-play team guide doesn't mean that it has to be a pure A-level uh, unit content. <laughs> because everyone has an equal chance to get S-level units. And uh, you can actually reroll for this unit if you really wanted to. So, you don't actually have to spend any money. So, it's very funny when I see comments like, your guide is not free-to-play friendly because you're using S-level character. I, I think that's just really, really hilarious. And at the same time, for those of you guys who do have Smokey, uh, I feel very sad for you guys because... Um, I mean, because Smokey is gonna be in nearly every damage boss related contents, at least I think in the next few patches, because this unit as an offensive support is just irreplaceable right now, unfortunately. However, if you really don't have Smokey and Murky, then you have come to the right video, which I'll talk about what are the unit replacement you can use. So units which are like surf, sort of serve similar roles, and at the same time, maybe some team building ideas that you guys can use to make up for this uh, lack of smoky or this smoky -less situation that you guys have. So before I continue speaking, right, I'd like to put the comment from all the viewers on screen. So I'll call this viewer Mr. Tally because I'm, I'm very afraid that I mispronounced the name. So Mr. Tally here offered a really good uh, suggestion for team building in Necro Drake early game if you do have smoky, right? I think it's really valid. Like if you do have smoky, I think this is a really good replacement. And I really admire players who actually think for themselves based on their own situation. Like this is something to applaud for because as guide makers, we can only give you the best answers or like close to the best answers that I think the meta has to offer. Unfortunately, if you do have the units, number one, obviously you can go and reroll and get the unit because uh, this unit is one of the three in the first 30 rows anyway. So you can just reroll and get him. And at the same time, you can also just put this unit on the wish list and then do as much pulls as possible. Eventually, you'll at least get one copy of him. Um, and if let's say you really, really cannot get Smokey, right? Then you should be like the player that's on screen right now or this viewer on screen right now. Think of an alternative to help you achieve similar result with this unit. So uh, that's something that I really applaud. So before I continue talking about what are the replacement as well as uh, what are the team build ideas you can use, uh, we have to sort of see why Smokey is uh, such a good offensive support. So the ultimate provides a heal, right, 30 haze, and uh, it's a permanent effect, right, at the base uh, form where it's a very small heal with energy regen for this unit himself. And when you use the active, you'll expand the aroma cloud, or I call fuck cloud as usual, uh, to deal even more HP recovery to the whole team. So usually this AoE of the aromas uh, skill is really big, so it's going to cover at least like three or four units most of the time. And this is why this unit is good because it provides a buff and it provides a buff to nearly everyone in the team. So that's one thing. And then the second skill provides uh, this unit with an additional 8 energy regen per second at level 3 for every non summon ally unit within the aroma itself. So first of all, you have all the allies in the aroma, right? They're going to get healed. They're going to get buffed. And then this unit is going to recover energy faster. So this unit will use the ultimate active faster as well. And at the same time, the attack of all allies is also increased by up to 20% where, when they're inside the smoke cloud. So third skill is additional heals when units are within aroma. And the fourth skill is the hero focus, which increases their attack. And this increase in attack actually results in a higher increase in heal numbers as well because their heal stats is based off their attack so this is why this unit heals a lot as well and then if you take a look at the ex weapon skill it's basically dps right previously i think in the older version before i even started playing the game smoky and murky is actually a pretty powerful semi carry together with od because od was one of the strongest carry and uh od was still very strong when i first started the game in version 1.05 but uh, I think Smokey got nerfed before I joined in. So by the time I joined in, I think this unit has already received this current version of Withering Potion. But nonetheless, Withering Potion is also additional damage that you can do to the boss in most of the boss fights, as well as the like most of the damage related contents. And on top of that, right, there's this 0.1 seconds mini stun. 
like this mini star actually plays a role because you can interrupt enemies who are using channeling skills as well so you guys can see why smoky and murky is quite irreplaceable in a way like you have a healer that is able to maximize its q aoe and also buff the allies within the cloud and since the ally are already getting healed inside the cloud, right, this unit is going to get energy regen, which allows it to use its ultimate more. So you guys can see why this unit is so strong in terms of uh, damage related content. And on top of that, Smokey and Murky is also the Mauler faction. So Mauler wise, they are quite extreme because they are some of the strongest units and they are some of the weakest unit in the pool. But in most cases, at least for the damage related content, units like Kruger, units like OD, uh, even units like our dear, uh, our dear Shakir, right? They are all very commonly used uh, bossing units or commonly used damage units for the different damage related content. So that's why that's one of the advantage that this unit has. And uh, yeah, like uh, if you don't have him, I really strongly advise you to put this unit on your wish list because eventually you will need this unit like whether or not it's supreme whether or not it's legendary whether or not it's just epic this i mean whether or not it's uh the the lowest rarity that this unit can be like this unit is uh, gonna be quite important like moving forward into the game so if you're staying around this unit is a must reroll for it if you need to uh, put it in your wish list if you need to okay but if you don't have this unit what can you do in the meantime so i'm gonna offer some suggestion right other than the comments that um my viewers actually offered um smoking and murky is not like an irreplaceable unit because there are certain situations where rowan is actually better because rowan is uh energy cycling for the whole team so energy cycling also equates to more star shot spell damage because your units are cycling through the ultimate faster and at the same time uh rowan's uh heal right is pretty big because it's based off the hp of the allies so in certain situations where the ally has a lot of hp and Rowan is at a very low tier, Rowan is actually better. Like when you compare low tier Rowan to low tier Smokey, I think Rowan is better because Rowan heal is based off the allies max HP. So you can have a super highly tiered Torrent at Supreme Plus and you can use the most basic version of Rowan. He will still do the healing job really well. Whereas if you use a very low version of Smokey, the heal numbers will be lower because it's based off the attack. So having low tier Smokey means that the heal numbers are not as optimal. So Smokey, I mean Rowan is a really good, I'll say early game replacement for Smokey. I think in a lot of ways. And at the same time, right, if you do unlock the EX weapon, the potion can change into Super Potion, which offers even more heal as well as a pretty big defensive buff for the unit that drinks it. So that's one thing that uh, Rowan can also sort of replace Smokey. And in terms of different game modes, I'll say Rowan excels in, uh, I won't say content pushing, I think content pushing both Smokey and Rowan, they are pretty decent. But in Arena, I think Rowan is stronger because uh, Rowan has more synergy with some of the most OP units. And Smokey is actually quite easy to interrupt in Arena. So if you are not thinking about like just bossing as a whole, Rowan is quite a good replacement because in Arena, you can use uh, Rowan, but in Arena, Smokey is less effective. So that's uh, one thing that you guys can take note of. So that's uh, unit number one. Unit number two, Damien. So Damien, when you have the EX weapon unlocked, they actually have this uh, haste buff on all nearby ally when he used the emergency support for the first time. So the, the haste is actually quite big, right up to... 55 if you have level 4 but in most cases you'll be level 3 which is 50 which is quite massive already so that's one way to provide offensive capability for your team and Damon also have massive heal from the second skill so this heal is pretty big in the late game so so Damon is a more late game substitute and Damon has a disable right stun over here and Damon's chariot can do damage so offensively Damien doesn't lose out that much compared to Smokey. And at the same time, one advantage that Damien have is that Damien is more multi-purpose because Damien's chariot act as a mini tank that can take damage, right? And then uh, once uh, once the HP gets uh, demolished, you can resummon the unit again. So it's like a mini tank that keeps on coming back. And there are other things which Damien are better compared to Smokey. Like things like tanking insta kills and uh, tanking massive uh, initial damage because there are certain units that have very 
very powerful initial burst like you can just use damien's cut as a tank because you can still come back right once the energy of damien is full so that's one thing that damien can definitely do better than smokey moving forward into the game right so that's one thing for you guys uh, obviously aldea coco is also a really decent de uh, replacement being the same faction with a very powerful damage reduction with life drain and 10 percent attack buff for the whole team this unit is i'll say i won't say it's a downgrade to smokey and murky I think depending on the situation coco might be a little bit better but i'll say that um in most cases most people will still recommend smokey because um the the amount of offensive output that smokey provides for all ally is just crazy big and it's something that coco's 10 percent attack is 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 okay right it, it sort of in a way makes up for it but it's just not as good so that's one thing that coco may not be that good although there's also this uh, debuff ability which makes the enemy takes more damage so that's why you guys can see these two units that use hand in hand because one of them is really so good when you put two of them together they just make uh, like a really powerful support duo but if you don't have smokey use coco right it she is a decent replacement with the same model attack doing similar things and maybe better defensively in the late game so that's one thing so these are the three units which are very close replacements for smokey and murky um when you talk about team building ideas right usually when you build around smokey and murky you have a lot of uh, maulers in your team so one way you can do it right is to make do without that many mauler like dps or focus maybe don't focus too much on the mauler side of things right focus more on the light bringer side for example like light bearer side so in this way uh you can still eat the factional bonus and these units for example right you have Aldea, corin and rowan so you heal your shield your damage as well so in a way uh, this pairing is also a good replacement to deal with the smoky murky situation right so this is one way you can do it uh in terms of uh like okay i'm talking about more so in the uh damage related contents because um i think in arena there's just so many units that can do smoky and smoky's job better that i don't think you guys need me to recommend but if you're talking about offensive wise honestly speaking uh you guys can try using damien together with our dear heroin right so they are definitely better defensively but i'll say they are just not as good as compared to just having smoky as one unit because smoky is one unit uh, if you're using two units to replace uh, what one unit is doing then it's kind of waste of a slot so yeah these are just a few recommendations that i have if you do have smoky right uh i'll be really honest with you guys i think if you don't have him get him asap like this is just my best advice for you guys if you can't get him by gacha luck go and reroll right so you have one in three in 30 posts so if you do enough of your rerolls you should be able to secure at least one copy of smoky so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully uh for those of you guys who are smokyless you guys have uh, found some answer for your team builds and for those of you guys who have smoky good for you you guys should probably continue investing in this unit because this unit will just get better moving towards the late game so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys